This is Movies in Contemplation with Jirak and... Oh, am I talking to Jesus. you? Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Hello. Happy holidays, everybody. Yes, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Yes, kissy Christmas. Kissy Christmas. So, let's go ahead and get everything started here. We're going to do a new segment, gang. It's going to be from our handy-dandy Shakespeare notebook. Our handy-dandy Shakespeare notebook? Our handy-dandy Shakespeare notebook. It's All right. an insult. It's an insult generator. Generator. Yes, yeah. I was given this gift by a woman I work for at the yoga studio. It's amazing. Thank you, Paula. Yeah. It's like a dictionary of all of Shakespeare's insults, and they chopped it up into like three categories, and you can mix and match... Yeah. The insults and kind of use them to give yeah. someone an insult. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be fun to have us randomly pick three of the insults. We'll say what they are and what they mean. And we're going to think of a character that we think describes one of the characters in the films we are reviewing, contemplating. But I, we also want you guys to guess what describes that character. And we'll reveal who we think at the end. Yeah. That's how I'm going to describe it right now. If it's confusing, I apologize. We'll find a more condensed yes. way to describe it because I just came up with it before we started recording. Right. So today's insult is covetous, loggerheaded, bull's pizzle. A covetous, loggerheaded, bull's pizzle. Yes. And it means greedy, envious of the possession of others, stupidly blockheaded, Bull's penis. Bull's dick. Yes. You greedy, envious, stupidly blockheaded bull's penis. Yes. So, try to guess what character best describes that insult, and we'll tell you what we thought at the end of this episode. At the end. Yes. Yes. So today, guys, we're not doing wine today. We decided, because it is Christmas, uh, we're doing Evan Williams' Eggnog. Yes. The original Southern Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey blended whiskey rum and brandy. Very potent, very delicious. Very guess. Good. But today we are doing a Cali pick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, thank you. A Cali pick. I like it as a Christmas movie. Yeah, Just it's, Friends. Yeah, Just Friends. It is starring Ryan Reynolds, Amy Smart, Anna Ferris, Chris Klein, just to name a few. It came out in 2005, directed by Roger Cummel, and yeah, it's a really funny film. Yeah, yeah. So let's dive in. Let's let's go ahead and talk about the movie. Yeah, let's go for it. So we open up, and we're we have uh, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Singing all for one. I swear. I swear. By the moon and the stars in the sky. Yes, and it's 1995 oh, in baby. New Jersey. Mm. So while he's listening to this song, we're getting a a little like glimpse of all these photos plastered on yeah. a wall, which I did when I was in school. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you did that. No. Oh, I did. It was on my door. And as soon as I like grew up and pulled them all out, I completely destroyed the shit out of my door. Yeah. I destroyed the shit out of my walls for all the fucking posters and magazines I scotch taped them onto. Yeah. Ugh, my poor mom. But uh, Ryan Reynolds, his name is Chris Brander, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Brander, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he's a senior in high school, just graduated, and he's writing in his best friend's yearbook. It's the girl that's in all the photos. Jamie. 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 And he's pretty much professing his love. Yeah. He's, they've been friends since like the sixth grade, and he's had this devastatingly crazy crush on her. But he has always remained in the friend zone, and he just kept himself there. Yeah. But uh, Ryan Reynolds doesn't look like the normal Ryan Reynolds. No, he's... Husky. He's husky. He's tubby with an afro, curly hair. Oh, yeah, very curly. Yeah. Forgot about the hair. So unfortunate. Yeah. But not, I don't not. know. Well, in, in the movie's eyes, in his eyes, yes. it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But he's not that He's big. really not. No, he's not. You know, the. I mean, Tim, the guy that was on the football, the football dude that goes up to him. And they were all, the same Move size. Fast. Yeah, they're, <laughs> that's a, they're the same a big fucking dude. size. But this was 2005, you know, fat shaming. Yeah. 
and he rides a bicycle. Mm. Poor guy, he didn't get a car. Jamie, I'm opening your gate. <sighs> yeah. Jamie. And while he's riding, yeah, while he's riding his bike, he keeps saying Jamie, and he sounds like Cartman in South Park. Like, yeah. Jamie, nah, nah, open your gate. Ah, Jamie. I can't do a Cartman. But he just, thought that Jamie was having just a small get together. Yeah. Just him, Jamie, and then their two other friends, Clark and Darla. 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 Well, I guess Jamie did too, because Darla said that her parents were throwing her a surprise party or some shit. Oh, okay. I did, I did not catch that. Yeah. But um, the. They were like the Palominos. Oh, the Palominos. Throwing a surprise party for Jamie. Oh, okay. So it's like, yeah, a good graduation. Graduation surprise party. Yes. But all of the senior class mm -hmm. are there. And we run into Clark and Darla. They are a couple. Mm -hmm. Very much in love. Like, very typical high school couple where they're only, like, together and they don't socialize with other people. Yeah. Like, that's very much that. Chris finds Jamie. She's, like, dancing. Mm -hmm. I think, like, Clark goes, oh, she uh, went into the back with all the football players. I don't know if he meant that as a joke or if that was like a literal thing, but all she was doing was just like dancing with them. Hip hop, hooray! Oh, oh yeah. Hey. Very, very 95. Jamie's wearing this teensy weensy jean dress. Yeah. Yeah, and she's wearing those. I know I brought it up during the boys and girls episode, but it was those candies platform flip-flops, which were very, very popular at the time mm -hmm. for a good while. And Chris wants to talk to Jamie, something very, very important. He has the yearbook in hand. Jamie just like grabs his hand and throws him up the stairs because yep. she has a surprise too for him. They go into her room. She's obviously has had a little, little drink drink. Yeah, she's been drinking, definitely. Oh yeah, for sure. And she does this like belly flop onto her bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we get this little shot. She's wearing, well, at least she's wearing a thong. I mean, she wasn't wearing underwear. That would have been. Was it a thong? It was a thong. Oh, it was a thong. I saw cheeks. I mean, she has no ass. But, yeah, that's what I yeah. But still, yeah, it was a full on butt shot. And she's like all excited. Oh my God, I can't believe we graduated. And she like lifts up her legs into this like <laughs> pike position. And then we see like, we get like a little undie crotch shot. Uh, Chris sits down on the bed and he sees it and he's just like, oh, okay, this is weird, but it looks really nice. Oh yeah. my God. Like really, really awkward. Chris tries to tell Jamie like what's going on and the asshole that you brought up earlier. Tim! Tim, yes. He was like the quarterback of the football team. Super popular. Big quarterback. And he like pushes Chris off the bed like, move tubby. Yeah. And it was it was very fun very funny physical comedy. There's a lot of really good physical comedy in yeah. this in this movie. Mm -hmm. I really didn't get to describe why I liked the movie, but that's Oh yeah. No, 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 it's Sorry. fine. No, I don't even remember, honestly, the first time I watched this movie. I'm pretty sure I saw it on TV because I don't think it did that well. I'm not like you. I don't do a ton of well, research on movies unless I'm uh, really, really passionate about them. Well, I feel like in 2005, isn't that when Wedding Crashers came out? So then this would have had to have competed. What a... Idiot! And obviously, Wedding Crashers <laughs> crashed the fuck crashed out of this. Crashed the fuck out of this. That's why. If, I... if if I'm right, I don't know if Wedding Crashers came out in 05 or not. I I feel like it did, but well, yeah, way. this movie I think was kind of got it got slipped under the rugs because yeah. I don't know a crazy amount of people that know about it, but it has some really great actors in it. It's I'm gonna say it's hella funny. Yeah. I hate myself when I say that word sometimes. Hella. Hella, but ugh, I hate I hate myself. But yeah, it is really funny. It's a good Christmas movie, and it's just fun. Yeah, it's, it's fun. fun. It's cute, and it's Ryan Reynolds. Hello. I love Ryan Reynolds. Mm. What was the first Ryan Reynolds movie that you saw? I think it was Waiting. That was your first Ryan Reynolds film? Or Van Wilder. I think Van Wilder was that the first was one, actually. Yeah. That was mine. Oh. I loved yep. Ryan Reynolds and Van Wilder. Oh my god! To the point that I just I'm a fan of Ryan Reynolds. Still, I really still am. to this day, yeah. he is the. I, I think he is like the funniest guy in fucking Hollywood for he sure. He is so funny because he's one of those he's guys. Quick witted. Quick witted. He does not take himself seriously. No, I'm, I'm flattered. I'd love for your piece to be on me. But he's really good at. Well, uh, there's a few blunders here and there with movies that he picks to act in. Well, who doesn't? I know. 
who knows at the time when you're reading a script, you think, oh my God, this is going to be my big break. Hence the joke in Deadpool 2. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, the Green when Lantern. He, yeah, the Green Lantern. Oh my God, this is going to make me a superstar, whatever he yeah. says. And just Deadpool's like, Pow. Yeah. You're making a mistake. You're making a mistake. I love it. Um, but anywho, back to it. Football jerk Tim comes in and he tries to get Jamie to sign his yearbook. Yeah. And Jamie's like, oh my God, I'm so over this. Can I just do it later? And then he says that stupid fucking jock thing. Oh, well, can I do you later? Yeah. Can I do you later? Yeah. Like, get out of here. And Tim leaves and they, uh, Chris and Jamie, they do like a little jinx of, Oh my god, I can't believe you dated that guy. Jinx! One, two, three, four, five! Yeah, and they have this like cute little thing. And Chris is very uncomfortable because... Yeah. But it's like, I wonder, like, how did he... I'm thinking, like, through, like, the character's perspective. Like, how did he deal... If Jamie's really that, like, physical, mm-hmm. like, how did he, like, deal with that and bottle that in for so long? <laughs> you know? Her grabbing him and everything? Yeah, just, just, just kind oh. of being physical. Like, doing the, like, the raspberries on his belly and stuff. And, yeah. You can tell it's like really uncomfortable, but it's like, ooh. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't really get that much. I I was thinking that he was the in his head. Like I felt like with her grabbing him because even in their videos and shit, they're both like Being grabbing cool. on each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if that was necessarily what bothered him about mm-hmm. his weight more than what other what he thought other people. Which is why they were. Mm-hmm. I think everybody was like messing with him, calling him fat, and then the one guy try a salad. Oh my god, they're so <laughs> mean. How dare you? Try yeah. Or I think maybe he was just nervous because this was supposed to be his big moment. And that could be Jamie it isn't too. taking it seriously. And yeah. they get interrupted again. Dusty comes in. <laughs> Chris Klein. Oh. oh my god. He is oh, poor guy. I don't I'm not saying this in a mean way, but this is just how his character looks at the time. Pimple. Huge face full of acne, glasses. He has this like long, strangly hair. His posture is horrible. He has a stammer. Yeah. And he comes in with his guitar saying, uh, hey Jamie, I uh, was hoping I could uh, play a song that I wrote for you. And Jamie's like, Oh, you wrote me a song. And Ryan Reynolds is just like Dusty. <laughs> Dinkleman. <laughs> yeah. So poor Dusty attempts this song. It's only like the first two lyrics we hear, like when Jamie smiles yeah. and he keeps like fucking it up, but he's like talking to himself. It's like, come on, Dusty, God damn it. God damn it. God damn it, God damn it Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Reynolds like tries to like feel sorry for him, but he's like, oh, yay, a bigger quote loser than me. That yeah. like, you know. Oh, Dusty, why don't you just just come back, come back in a little bit? You know, you can, you know, poor guy, you can poor practice, you just, you just practice your song and come back. And Chris tries to talk to Jamie again, and there's Jamie. Oh my God, I got this gift for you. Yeah. I don't know if it fits or not, but I saw it at the mall or something. Yeah, and- I don't know if it fits or not. Yeah. God, girl. Yeah, and like the. It was cute, but it was like also really sad. So he got, yeah, she got him a t-shirt. He puts it on. But the thing is, he puts it on over his other clothes. He's wearing like two layers, yeah. at least. He's wearing like a long sleeve and a short sleeve like on top of it. Mm-hmm. He like, he puts it on, he turns around and he just goes, it's a little snug. Yeah. I don't know if it was because of the snugness snug. or what it said. It said, shakes come and go, but friends are forever. Yeah, and it's like, they're really... Point, they're really poking at his weight with him, and I guess that's they right. Do. What you, what, what we were saying earlier, what you were saying was it's, yeah, I guess it is. Everything just bothers him yeah. about his weight, and it's well, because like, no yeah. one, no one let him forget that he was heavy. Right. He wasn't. I'm for sure, sure. That didn't make sense. For sure. For sure. Oh my god, I hate you. Um, he was not like the heaviest kid in school, but I think. They just made fun of him a lot because he was also a cheerleader with oh, Jamie. Oh, yeah, that's right. And he had, like, a snow globe collection. He was also considered, like, a, like I guess, like, the stereotypical nerd as well. And he yeah. was always up Jamie's ass. And they probably made fun of him for that, too. Just kind of, like, following Jamie along, like, with, you know. Yeah, with his retainer. Yes, because he had braces and a retainer and stuff. So... Just high school kids are just fucking mean, man. They will yeah. never let you go for like any of the shit that you dealt with during adolescence. It's yeah. like, yeah, great. Thanks for reminding me that I went through that 
part of my teenage adolescence, but ah, uh, cool. But yeah, the shirt says that, the shakes and the forever. And she like got like a picture of him and her and then like around the face is like a cat face and cat body and they're sharing a shake Mm. so it's like a definite friend zone oh my god we're gonna be friends forever thing yeah chris is like okay hold like hold on like stop jamie gets like oh uh what's wrong like this is really important i need you to i signed your yearbook please read it she starts to read it and it says she starts to like laugh and say something like, Hey, stub, stud muffin. It was really fun getting it on in your pickup truck or something. Yeah. And Jamie's like offended. Chris is like, you have to do the, oh my. I think you need to do it. Oh my God. Yeah. Man. He's like, it's the wrong fucking yearbook. He just turns around. He does this like amazing <laughs> physical thing where he turns around and makes his like double chin bigger. He's like, oh my God. Oh my God. And they cut to fucking Tim, the asshole. He's reading Chris's yearbook Mm -hmm. note to Jamie saying that, I feel like when we're together, we're in our own little world. I want to be more than your friend. I want to be your boyfriend. He's like up at the stairs. Yeah, he's reading it on the balcony. Yeah, in front of everybody and everyone is laughing. Chris is trying to, he's just trying to like do damage control. Like it's just a joke between Jamie and I. It's just a a fun thing. So I don't think Jamie didn't really get to hear everything per se, what what was said. But everyone's making fun of him. They're saying like the most horrible things calling him tubby like you said earlier eat a salad loser right. so chris starts to like cry and even they say like oh he's gonna cry yeah they're making fun of him because he's sensitive yeah but chris runs off because he's crying jamie runs after him and she's like chris wait did you mean all those things that you said and he's like i don't know maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess <laughs> and she's like oh chris i love you like a brother. Yes, and you even <laughs> called it before yes. she even said it. Because also, we didn't say you said that you've never seen this movie. No. So this was your first viewing, which was very exciting. For yes, you. I've seen you watch it once. Yeah. And all I saw was like that Ryan Reynolds, and I think it was the when he was talking to her for the first time, and then I was like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> and I just like left. I I didn't I'm wanna, over it, <laughs> try yeah. to watch it. Yeah, but you called it because she did this like dramatic pause, like, oh my god, Chris, that's the sweetest thing anyone has ever said to me. I love you. And the, as a brother. You and you said that before yeah. she even fucking said that, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. But yeah, she goes, like a brother. Because he tries to go in f- for a kiss. He thinks that she's going to go in for a kiss too. Yeah. She like side swipes him and just hugs him. Mm-hmm. And then does the like a brother. And he's like, yeah. What? Great. All right, get great. BFS forever. And people are still making fun of him. They like open up a window. They're just like, ha, 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 loser. And he's just like, shut up. I'm going to show you all this place is full of fucking losers and I'm gonna show you all I'm riding the wind or he says something where he's some shit yeah yeah, yeah. riding the wind yeah, I'm, I'm riding gonna the be wind. something I'm, and... yeah I'm gonna be somebody I'm gonna show all you small town people that I'm not some loser and then it's like what like 10 years yeah and we are in LA like mm-hmm. Hollywood another office party another Office party. Seems to be what you do on Christmas. Hello. And we see this, like, this chick. She's, like, in this, like, she looks like a fucking slutty Tweety Bird. Yeah. Because she's in a cage. She's swinging. And you hear, like, that Rudolph song. Mm -hmm. And there's this really typically hot uh, Latina girl. She's wearing, like, a corset with, like, lingerie bottoms. She has, like, the very, like, 90s kind of, like, updos where, like, part of the hair is, like, curled and in like little little buns we Mm -hmm. see that all throughout this film actually and i'm not gonna lie i did the same shit but uh this chick is like the sex is great but you're just like you don't really like care about my feelings and we get a shot of ryan reynolds and it's ryan reynolds ryan reynolds as chris all fit all smug as we see he's like circling like a little martini and the girl breaks up with him and she like what's her name like athena's 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 out. Yeah. Stuff like that. She does like a little finger wave thing. Well, I guess Athena's is out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, I don't care why. I don't know why you don't take me seriously. And like spits in his martini. Yeah. Because <laughs> she's wearing this like crazy outfit. Right. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. how can anybody take you seriously? Yeah. So you're getting a glimpse of how he's a lot different 
than what he used to be. He's like the guys that he went to high school with. He yes. treats him, yeah. Yeah, because we find out that he works at a record company. Mm-hmm. He's like, I don't think they really say exactly what he does. He's like a... He's like an agent. Like an agent, executive, yeah. like producer, like something like that. But yeah, like an agent. Yeah, he's kind of, he's just like the ladies man now. And he has also become like the guru of how to avoid the friend zone. Yeah. Because that's what he dealt with all of his adolescent life. And it cuts to he's now like, oh, like he's super fit because he's playing hockey. He's really, really good. And he's talking to his like work friend who is like having lady troubles. And he tries to explain to him like, look, no, do not go on day dates. That is a complete green light to get you into the friend zone. What right. you got to do is you got to call her, have a night date. Mm-hmm. And like he's like I said, like he's like the guru. Right. And we cut back to the office. He's giving Christmas presents to everyone in the office. He doesn't necessarily know everybody, but he's just like that that guy that's like super nice around the office. But I'm sure he doesn't even know your last name, mm-hmm. let alone your first one. But he's like, hey, there you go. Oh, great outfit. It really brings out your legs. Like just total, yeah. just like total kind of like jerky jerk. And he goes into his boss's office who what's that one actor's name stefan root he plays like the big honcho of the record company and he's also total ass like very like la head producer wearing these like uh shiny leather pants and he's telling chris ryan reynolds that he wants to sign this pop princess rich girl socialite her name is Samantha James, and she's played by the Anna. fucking hilarious Anna Ferris. Dude, she is so funny. She plays, she's like the fucking female Mark Wahlberg. They yes. both are just so childish. They are, oh and my they, god. And they do it perfectly. That is, oh my god, that's yes, perfect. They do it perfectly. Yeah, they're so good at being like funny and childish, but like also very kind of like endearing and cute. Yeah. At the same time, I don't know how they do it. It's so great. But she is this rich girl who goes to like premieres of everything. She has money and she wants a singing career. Mm. And we see, like, a commercial of her pretending to be, like, this humanitarian trying to get, like, in Africa, trying to raise money. She's, like, holding a chicken, and she has, like, a shirt that says, I love soy. And the shit that that she says makes absolutely no sense. You can tell she's just doing it just for fucking publicity, yeah. And the boss, KC, he's like... I want that album, yeah. I, and I want I want you to get it for me. And you could see right away, Chris is like very terrified by this woman because I guess they like they went out before, mm-hmm. and the boss is like, "Well, you're the one that used to diddly her, whatever." And he's like, "It was one date, and I end up in the fucking hospital because yeah. of it. <laughs> this woman is dangerous. You do not want her." Yeah. And the boss pulls out this like poster of of her. She's wearing that. That whipped cream bikini, like Varsity Blue style. And then she's like about to put a chocolate covered full banana in her mouth. Just like, "Eh," and the chocolate's like dripping down her arm. Like just totally hilarious, but like spot on. Right. You know, and uh, his boss said, you're going to get me that album or else you're fired. Yeah. Ryan uh, Ryan Reynolds like, you got it. I'm going to. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. And the next scene, he goes to the uh, record studio which was right next door to our college yeah yeah great great shot uh, good old amda and on a ferris we finally see her and she's recording a song i don't know how you how would you describe this song that she's trying to record so uh, we gotta fucking gotta remind me which one this one was because i keep having that goddamn i'm sorry stuck in oh my, my god head. the forgiveness one yeah, yeah because she she sings that consistently forgiveness yeah she's like start yeah this is like the pop one where she's just like from afar afar, afar. <laughs> where are you where are you looking up at the star in the yeah, and she tries the big <laughs> belt moment, and you, she goes like, Be my blood! <laughs> um, cut, cut! Um, who fucking changed the key again? There is no change, Samantha. <laughs> the key has been the same for the last 40 takes. And she's like, well, I'm just not feeling it. I just want to play my guitar. And he's like, we're just doing the separate tracks right now. And she's like, no, the song says me 
playing my guitar. She puts on her guitar, and I didn't notice this until uh, now, she puts on her guitar strap the wrong way. She has the guitar strap completely over her neck, and the strap is in front of both shoulders. So she wears it like an apron. She Yeah, she yeah. wears it like an apron, and she's not, she, how could you fucking play, like, you can, it's just, she's setting us up for how much of a train wreck this character is, yeah. but we are here for it, and it's gonna be great. And she sees Chris and is, like, really excited. She just pounces him right away. Yeah. She's a rapist. Yeah, she is. She, like, tackled him. She and just jams her tongue in his mouth. Yeah. Like, how many takes did that take? Because that was full-on tongue flossing. Dude, she... He had to have been... I would be dying if I was trying to do how that scene How could you not? Her. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'd be laughing so hard. Yeah. And she's all excited to see him, and she then goes to the song that you were saying earlier. Forgiveness. Yeah, she's writing this new song called Forgiveness, just with her and her guitar. And this is post-almost raping Chris. His, like, pants are unbuckled and like unzipped mm -hmm. and while she's singing the song i don't know how they did this but it was so perfect he's sitting there just stunned with this like look on his face like oh my god what have i done yeah and then his pants fall to the ankles slowly <laughs> fall from the mid thigh to his ankles yeah and she's just singing her song Forgiveness is divine. So have a glass, glass of wine. wine and have makeup sex till the end of time, 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 time. <laughs> time, time. Oh God, it's so funny. He is legit scared of her because yeah. they end up on a plane together. She wants to go to Paris. He plans because it's Christmas. Right. I'm. I'm not sure if we. I talked about Christmas gifts, but at this time, it's like two days. Till. Yeah, like two days, two three days before Christmas. Yeah. He plans on going to the Bahamas. She wants him to go to Paris. We gotta go to Paris to see Paris. Yeah, I could Paris to see Paris. Should we stop in Ireland to see where Bono lives? Oh my God, should Bono be my backup singer? I could be like forgiveness, and he'll be like forgiveness, forgiveness. Yeah, <laughs> she's just so stupid. Oh. Oh my God. So they're on this private jet over to Paris and she's still singing her fucking song. Yeah. And you can tell he's just dying inside. And this bitch carries ahi tuna with her because she's on this weird fad diet. It's wrapped in aluminum foil. She puts it in the fucking microwave. I know, I was like, oh my God. Yeah. She puts it in, you know it's not gonna end well. Mm -hmm. So they had to, uh, oh wait, before she, uh, before that happens, God, what does she say? Like, should, should I add more vibrato? Yeah, should I add more vibrato? <laughs> Instead of saying vibrato, she goes yeah. vibrato. Like, she tries so hard to, like, say really big girl words, but she says them totally wrong. Yeah. So the plane has to go down because there's a fire, clearly, and she, like, calls her dad, and she's like, Daddy, we're down! Yeah, Daddy, we're down! <laughs> Not happy! And it turns oh. out that they land in Jersey. Mm -hmm. And they can't get a flight until the next day. Uh, Chris is just like, all right, I know where I need to go. Going home. <laughs> Samantha goes, am I being punked? Ashton, come out. This is crazy. Oh, my God. So they end up at Chris's home where he grew up. His mom, Carol. Oh, yeah. So adorable. She is just this Hi, really cute corny mom mm -hmm. that hasn't really just stayed at the same town yeah. her whole life and just loves her kids but she's a little dense i hate to say so she's like freaking out like she like legit screams because i don't think chris has been home since he left because mm -hmm. she also says that she would get flown to los angeles like chris would i guess uh, her and his brother yeah. his younger brother mike mike and let's see. Oh, what was that that word we looked up that Anna Ferris says? Oh, the, uh, let me see it. Provincial. Provincial, yeah. Yeah, she calls it provin... You're so provincial. Chris, I didn't know you were so provincial. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is just, this place is just so quaint and so poor. And we had to look it up what it meant because she was saying it wrong, but... 
provincial, it meant Yeah, like, no, I like did not catch I was like, what the fuck is she trying to say? Yeah, we had to <laughs> we had to turn on the captions to get what she said, but yeah, you looked it up and it was like a what did it say? Oh, that was so long ago. Did yeah. I, I asked you to screenshot it, did you? An inhabitant of regions outside the capital city of a country, especially when regarded as unsophisticated or narrow minded. So she says provincial. Provincial. And it's provincial. Yes. Oh my provincial. god. Provincial. Provincial. Yeah. Okay, good. I said it right. Okay. Oh god, that would have been awful. Provincial. Provincial. Yeah. Provincial. And Chris's younger brother, Mike, comes in. And he's so excited to see Samantha because he's a huge fan. He jerks off to her poster all the time. He smacks the ham. Smacks, smacks the ham. What ham did you smack? Not the one we're going to have for dinner. Yes. <laughs> the mom said. She's so ditzy. She is so, just like everything just goes over her head and it's so cute. Chris goes up to his room and like all the, the, the memory floodgates come in because it's just as... Uh, he left the it. way he left it and it's all the pictures of Jamie so you can see him starting to like the walls starting to crumble mm -hmm. or shake a little bit and he is just overwhelmed by everything that has been happening today he's like I I gotta start drinking do you guys want anything coffee great all right I'm gonna go I'm gonna go bye yeah, do, you, do you need some salmon <laughs> to yeah Samantha? Do you need some salmon let's get some salmon so she goes with him and gets all puffed up Oh, yeah, because they go to the Maple, which is, like, the local bar. And she's, like, wearing, like, sunglasses. Like, she's just wearing a... a she wears crazy outfits throughout the fucking film. Mm -hmm. And she's, like, covering her, like, eyes a little bit. Like, yes, uh -huh, I know. It's very exciting that I'm here. Yeah, nobody's no one, noticing her. <laughs> no one's paying attention to her at all. No one knows who the fuck she is. And uh, she wants to order her food and get the fuck out of here. But Chris sees his friends, Clark and Darla. Mm -hmm. It's it's such a cute moment. She it comes is. up to them and be like, oh, excuse me, uh, when do you guys think they're going to start changing to the metric system or something? And uh, Clark is just like, oh, I don't know. That's an interesting question. And they just go, whoa! <laughs> Chris Brander, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my Chris God. Chris Brander, ladies and gentlemen. My favorite is Anna Ferris. She randomly pops out of nowhere and is hugging with them. Oh, and yeah. It's and it's like, like, ah, ah. Yeah. Oh, my God. So TJ! TJ! Because <laughs> uh, Clark and Darla are married now. They have a cute, adorable kid called TJ. And, she, and Anna Ferris is just trying to get in on yeah. the fun. Yeah. And she wants to, like, are you not going to introduce me? They get in introduced and all that. And uh, Anna Ferris leaves and comes back, puts her arms around, like, both mm -hmm. uh, Darla and Clark. And he's like, oh, it's so nice to meet you guys. And kisses Clark on the cheek looks right at Darla and fully mouth kisses her. Yeah. Uh, releases and just goes, Darla. 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 <laughs> It kind of reminded me of her Darla. of her house bunny yeah. character when she, that's how she like remembers people's names. Darla. Yeah. Darla. Yeah. Yeah. Anna Ferris leaves and the three friends are talking, just kind of like playing catch up. And we see Jamie pop up behind the bar. She's like really badly shaking whatever drink she is. You can tell that she's mm -hmm. like right off the bat, she is a novice bartender. Yeah. Like it's a new job for her. And Darla looks at Jamie and like points, does like the thumb thing at Chris and just mouths, Chris Brander. Yeah. Jamie's like, oh my God. Yeah. Uh, I fucking him. I fucks the shit out of him, like you like to say. Uh, Chris spots Jamie and she like ducks. Mm hmm. Completely ducks. That's Jamie. a weird reaction. What do you think that reaction meant? Is that she saw he was attractive and she was attracted to him and then got nervous because she probably didn't look good to herself and or she didn't want him to see that she was a bartender. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah. Yeah, very, very, very that. And I think before he goes up to Jamie, Tim comes in, uh, the old quarterback, still wearing the same... Football. This jacket. This, just the, the football jacket, yeah, team jacket. High school jacket. Yeah. yeah. And like the complete top of his head is bald. And it is, it, it is clearly it's fake. Yeah. And that was what was so funny. Yeah, because, because it was Because his fake. skin was so tan, but the top of his head was so fucking like just 
pale. Yeah, I hope that was on purpose. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. It was so funny. But he's like the town drunk, I think. Yeah. Yeah, just totally still living in the high school realm, thinking mm. that he's the shit, but really he became a piece of shit. Well, he's always been a piece of shit, but now he's a drunk piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chris goes up to Jamie, and when Jamie comes up to like hug him, she's like, oh my God, I can put my arms around you. And she is like gro- groping yeah. him. Look at, oh my God, your belly, your chest, and your pecs. Yeah. <laughs> like, she is just like almost drooling. And she's kind of like, well, I don't like work at the Maple, but I work at the Maple. Like she's trying to like make excuses why she's back at home and right. and all Living that. Living with her parents. Living with her parents, and yeah, it's embarrassing. And she goes back to doing her job, and Tim goes up to Chris and is like, Jamie Palomino, she's a box of fine boxed wine or something. Yeah. Well, you'd know Tim. Yeah, you would know Tim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you can, because he knows. Chris Brandner, like, hey, I saw you at the Grammys with Cher, with I don't someone, know. yeah, some pop, P Diddy, some pop princess, yeah, P Diddy, maybe P Diddy. I don't remember. I don't remember. One but he like puts the bug in his ear, like, man, a guy like you that can get any kind of chick, I bet you can bang Jamie now. Yeah. So that light bulb goes up and he goes up to Jamie and he's like, hey, you know, I might be in town for a little longer. Would you want to like maybe go out? And she says, yeah, how about lunch? He's, he's like hesitant, like a date date. He's like, yeah, great. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Like he is completely brought back to high school in mm-hmm. like a matter of seconds. He doesn't take his own advice. He was giving his friend about the whole friend zone thing and yeah he totally falls for the day date and chris comes home and he wants his brother mike to kind of detain samantha get her distracted while he goes on this date with jamie yeah and their relationship is really cute it's very big brother little brother always like beating up on each other kind of thing but you can tell that they still like love each other but it gets pretty violent yeah it does and it's really funny like Obviously, I didn't have that relationship. I had three older sisters. Well, I had two older brothers and my other two siblings were like 10 plus years. So I didn't have a sister-sister relationship like that. So I, yeah, we're both not. Yeah, but I do think it was funny. Like a couple of friends of uh, of mine growing up, they had brothers Mm -hmm. and seeing how they would react. Sometimes it was like that. Yeah. With two of them. Mm -hmm. They they were like slapping each other and shit. It is funny. Farting in each other's faces or something. Gross like that. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and let's see. So I had to take notes because it's been a while since I've seen this movie. Oh, uh, Chris gets Samantha to go to the mall and kind of like tricks her like it's it was her idea. Like, you got to get in touch with your audience. Like, where's a place that you can go to get in touch with them? The mall? <gasps> the mall. The mall. Oh, my God. Look at you. You and I. We're connected. We get it. And she's got to go with Mike. And she's like, no, I am not going with him. Like, yeah. totally skeezed out by him. She's like, no, you got to do this on your own. I can't be your crutch anymore. Watch your face. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's Watch so mean to her. It is so funny, but it's like, oh, my God. He's terrible yeah. to her but i don't know i guess she deserves it chris finds because <clears throat> he's gonna pick up jamie at her parents house he finds the most expensive car which is a porsche that has these what they're like tired he's got chains on his Cha- tires. chains on the yeah. tires yeah you can tell it's like not driving well because it is jersey christmas time it's clearly snowing really bad. It's a Porsche. Goddamn sports car. It's a, yeah, and it's, <laughs> and it's a sports car driving in the snow. Not not ideal, but hey, he's trying to get into the jerk character because yeah. that was the type of guys Jamie would date in high school. So he's trying to emulate those type of guys because yeah. that's who he is now. He just acts like a douche and throws women away. But easily said than done because Jamie has this effect on Chris that that brings him right back to high school. Right back to high school. Like, it's not even... He's confused by going from the old Chris, the high school Chris, the very insecure, not sure of himself, to the Chris he is now, which really isn't the true Chris. Mm-hmm. It's a type of himself that he, he created this persona of Chris. He's trying to be the jerk that yeah. Jamie dated without even being around Jamie. He's like, oh, this is what it takes to get a girl. Mm-hmm. So he just puts on that act. When Jamie gets in the car, she's like, oh, wow, a Porsche. And he's like, oh, I know. It's it's so ostentate. Oh, what does he say? Ostentatious. Ostentate. 
Oft. Oh my god, this eggnog. <laughs> Ostentatious. Or oh, something. the eggnog. Oh, the eggnog. God damn. It just made it sound like, I know, it was the only car they had left. I know. It's just so Hollywood of me, but uh, whatever. Let's go have a good time, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, Jamie takes them to the old diner they used to eat at, and he was not happy about it. He was hoping to go somewhere more glamorous, maybe. Mm-hmm. But she's like, no, we have history here. We gotta go. And this waitress. She's been there since. Yes. This, Forever. This waitress, I have my issues with her. I know. Like, it's, yeah. poor Chris. Yeah. Because she's like, oh, I remember you too. Yeah, the chunky bunny. You're, you're the chubby bunny. And he yeah. says that line, which, oh, when I hear it, it just breaks my heart. It's like, yeah, thank you for reminding. Oh, wait, no. Was it Jamie? Oh, it doesn't matter. Someone else brings up the fact that he was fat. And he was like, yeah. Jamie yes. did, I think. Jamie did. Yeah, yeah Jamie did. He's like, yeah, that's so funny. Thank you for reminding me I was fat. Mm-hmm. Like, who cares? Right. Yeah, it, it's just, it, it is still mean. Um, but the waitress brings what they used to always order. Mm-hmm. Uh, before that, uh, Chris and Jamie are like catching up, and he is totally name dropping. He's like, oh my God, when you're not at Pink's birthday party or at a premiere with Jay Z, and I am totally uh, name dropping right now, P. Diddy. What's up with you? Right. Yeah. Just being... What's up with you? And then his brother calls. His brother calls. Yeah. They're at the mall. Everything's fine. Indeed. <laughs> well, well, hold on. So, uh, Anna Ferris is coming up with this song. She's like, mall people. mall people. Mall people come and go. Some people, they just don't know. Yeah. yeah. They just don't know. She, oh my so god! Stupid. It's so stupid, but it's so perfect because that's <laughs> that's it. That that's the character. Yeah. That we've grown Mall and people. still idolize and put them on fucking pedestals and have zero talent anyway. <laughs> and Mike is holding on to. Uh, we didn't say, but she has a taser. Yeah. Big, big taser. Mm-hmm. He accidentally tasers her, and she, because they're on the second level, and she goes over the rail. <laughs> she falls off. And falls off, on, and falls onto the floor into some shit, and some guy's screaming, oh my god! Yeah. Like, really violent, like something really violent fucking happened to yeah. her. It's, oh my god! He just hangs up. Right. Uh, uh, Ryan Reynolds just hangs up, and he sits down, he's like, oh, you know, it's just the coast. Yeah, it's just. Cause. Just the coast. So the waitress brings... They didn't even get to order. She says, oh, I know what you guys always want. Yeah. And Jamie gets this, like, grilled cheese, fries, cider ranch, and she's owing for the chubby bunny a, like, triple deluxe pancakes with chocolate syrup, maple syrup, and sprinkles. Yeah. With, like, probably, like, some whipped something. And she does that little bunny thing, like... Yeah, Thanks. Jesus Christ. And he's just like, this is not going to work for me. And she's like, well, you always used to order this. And like, yeah... Ten years ago when I was a whale. Right. And she gets really, like, offended. And Jamie, like, defends the waitress. And she's like, it's fine. We'll take it. She's like, we'll switch, little girl. Like, you don't have to be rude. And he's like, she's rude. I haven't had sweets in fucking ten years. This is going to really fuck up my stomach. Right. Like, he's right. Yeah. Like, don't do that. Like, that's that's so rude. Oh, my God. I'll just have my water. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. He takes that <laughs> sip of just, like, one sip of yeah. water. I'm stuffed. Yeah, that's what he said. He goes, I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. <laughs> he, he's like, he, he does act like a total baby at the end, I'm but stuffed. still, it's funny. But um, he brings her back home, and he is just so awkward. He's just like, good times, man. Yeah, good yeah, times. Well, this is so this is so fun. And he gets out of the car to try to like get her out, and he slips. He is just not his L.A. Chris. Mm-hmm. He is Jersey Chris. Yeah. Brings her like up to her front door, tries to go in to kiss her, but they do that little like like dodgy thing. Oh, we're gonna kiss. Oh, oh, we're gonna hug. They hug and he starts like hug humping her. Yeah, like body shakes her. Body shakes her and she does that like that rolling the eyes up up to her head, like, oh, okay, this is really weird. And he goes into his car and does this whole flip out. Mm-hmm. How would you describe this flip out? 
It was the old. It was him, it, though. That's how he would react when he was bigger. He would yeah. be, oh, now be stupid, stupid. Yeah, he was just uh, you know yeah. he was being himself. And when she comes, when Jamie comes to the car, she's just staring at him. She starts to laugh a little bit yeah. because. That's how Chris was. Yeah. That's what he would do. And she's seeing the old him there and doesn't understand why he's acting the way that he's yeah. acting. But she's still kind of like shocked by, like somewhat shocked by the behavior. Like, why is he doing that? Yeah. And she just says, I left my gloves in the car. And he's like, oh, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. There you go. See ya. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, God. Just so, so fucking humiliated. Poor guy. Uh, next scene, he goes into Clark's office. He's a dentist, and he is just so mortified and so upset. And Clark's like, "Well, it looks like you just picked up where you left off. You're still in the friend zone." He's like, "How do I? Like, what is going on? Like, how does she like do this to me?" Mm-hmm. And he goes back home. Mike, his brother, is like, "Little problem." <laughs> you see, fucking Aunt Ferris, like with this like ice pack on her head, wrapped in a towel, yeah, like along her head and her chin, and she's like. Eating tooth- half eating toothpaste like she's squeezing it all in her mouth but it's like still in her mouth like i don't think she's swallowed yet but she has like at least half a tube of toothpaste in her fucking mouth and it's like blue yeah and she's all numbed up on vicodin they're fighting and shit uh the boss calls mm-hmm. chris is like how's my little superstar can i talk to her <laughs> While he's on, while, uh, Chris is on the phone, uh, she goes up to him all like Vicodined up and like kisses him on, on the cheek. Yeah. And then this like big bubble of toothpaste comes out. That was so disgusting. Drips down his face and she goes like, blueberry. Yeah, blueberry. <laughs> My God. Oh! I know. She's so damn good. I know. He decides that he's going to try to stay a little longer. He's going to try to keep this thing going. Yeah. Now, at this point, did you think that he was just trying to have sex with Jamie or try to, like, be with her? You know, it's an interesting question because he keeps saying that he wanted to have sex with her and everybody was like, I thought you just wanted to have sex with her. Yeah. But... Later on, he's like, you know, I, th- this is Jamie. This was a girl that I loved in high school. Like, I want more than just sex. I yeah. want to be with her. So I think that he does actually really want to try to make something out of this. Yeah, I think he, he might be trying to, at first, repress that and just be like, yeah, I just want to I just want to have sex with her. That's all I want. I mean, I've been wanting to do it for so long. Mm-hmm. Why not now? Look at me. I look great. I'm, I have a lot of money. I'm successful. How would she not want to want to want to get a a piece of this mm-hmm. kind of thing? But all these things keep happening to him because he he loves her. He's still in love with her after all these years, and it's really cute, but it's also really depressing because like four horrible things keep happening. Yeah, he tries to get at Jamie again and invites her to go skating. Mm-hmm. And he used to be a bad skater, but now he's really good. He's like the head of his hockey team. And his mom sold his skates. his skates. And she's like, oh, honey, you don't need that to impress Jamie. Just be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Want to be myself. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. He says, I don't want to be myself. But then he, like, finds his snow globe collection. And he, like, hugs them. My snow globe collection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. And he, like, he, like, plays and he hears and he's just like, like, it's just so cute that he switches from being old Chris to fake new Chris. Mm-hmm. It's really, really good acting on Ryan Reynolds. I mean, of course, it's Ryan Reynolds. So poor Chris has to rent skates. And they're, like, I th- he even, like, makes a joke. Like, were these made in the 50s? Right. Because he keeps falling and, I guess, falling less than he did when he was younger. But they start doing the whole, hey, so how's your love life? And, of course, Chris is like, oh, you know, just dating around, you know, date a couple models here and there. But I think right now I'm just kind of like, I'm just kind of looking for the one. Mm -hmm. It's just like the asshole, like, book of lines to say to, like, how to pick up chicks. Yeah. And Jamie just says, well, I broke up with this one guy and, you know, I'm just, whatever, I just want to teach and all that shit. And I don't really know. I th- you'll find someone, Chris. And he's like, or I can try to do this. And he tries to swing her in for a kiss. That doesn't work. He fucking, like, bops her, bops her in the head. Mm-hmm. She falls down and these kids... 
Like, yay, Mrs. Miss Palomino. Yeah. There are these kids that she substitute teaches for, and this guy comes in and said, hey, we got a, a couple spots for the hockey game they're going to play. You guys want to wanna join in? And Jamie's like, no, Chris has Reynolds, and those... Those kids are so mean. What bullies. I could have lived without them. I could have lived without the kids. I yeah. thought the kids were overkill. Yeah. It was way too much. Because you're like, if you're a good skater, it doesn't matter what kind of skates you wear. Right. It's just ridiculous. I could have, like, I actually could have skipped this whole part. Because mm-hmm. it's pretty much just them going up against kids chris is falling he's screwing up they nickname him suckster suckster the only part that was funny was when ryan reynolds lost his shit yes and he was like i'm coming for all of you yeah and then he literally he literally with these like fucking eight-year-olds yeah yeah he checks the one and then he starts (laughs) ramming into the other one and the one girl is coming up to him and he punches her across the face and he just punches this fucking child. Yeah, yeah. And then does a slap shot, and then the puck hits him in the mouth. Yeah, because it, like, knocks up against, like, the rail. Yeah. And then it hits him in the mouth. He goes down. Ambulance come in, and he's, like, all kind of bloody in the face. And Jamie sees his face and faints. Who picks her up and saves her? Dusty Dinkleman. Yeah. Chris Klein, his face is... Well, he, now he is Chris Klein. Yeah. Just the way he looks. And just, like, his face when he comes up is just so smug already of, Yes, I'm the hero. Oh, my God. Looks like you took a, a dive over there. You're, oh, Jamie, Jamie Palomino? <laughs> oh, my God. Dusty Dinkleman? Well, I go by Dusty Lee now. But, yeah, it's me. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. So smart. Ryan Reynolds is laying there trapped. It's just like Dinkleman? Dinkleman? Because they have him like wrapped up in this like what do you call that? It's like a canoe slash thing that they I don't know. They, they strap call him them. in. Oh. But because the, the I call it like a canoe or a sled because it breaks. It's essentially what it does, yeah. It slides down this uh hill, does a 180, and he pretty much sleds on his feet. Face. Yeah. He lands on his face, so he's like more fucked up. They, uh, Dusty's one of the EMTs. They're in the ambulance. Chris can't talk because he's got shit in his mouth, and Dusty's putting on the moves. Like, oh my god, I cannot get over how good you look. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Once the acne cleared up, I got rid of my stammer. You know, I just, I just been like doing this for now, and just you know, while I work on my music career. You know, I still play a mean guitar. I'm a songwriter, but hey, you know what? You, you, I just cannot get over how good you look. Can I get your number? Yeah. And poor Chris, he's just like, oh no, like. This and is he's not getting, happening. And he's getting like fucked up. Like, More fucked you know, up. Yeah. Shit is literally falling off the ambulance. It's landing on his balls. It's yeah. just so fucking. It's just so. It's so. A lot of physical comedy. Yeah. I don't know. It was. It was okay. It, I kind of just go past it and just kind of pay attention to what uh, Dusty and Jamie are saying. Mm-hmm. Um, but Jamie gives him the number. Gives him the number. She gives him the number. Yeah, and poor Chris needs a retainer. So again, he's right back to being in high school. And then Chris like changes his tactic because she went for for uh, Dusty, and he's like, okay. Maybe I need to be old Chris. Like he calls Chris a pussy. Yeah, he's like, like, be a pussy. Be a pussy. And he invites Jamie to go see the notebook. Yeah. Ooh, interesting connection there because we did an episode of the notebook. The notebook. Yeah, yeah. And Dusty calls in and like pretty much invites himself, himself to go. Jamie picks uh, Chris up and Dusty's there. <laughs> Dusty, the way he says uh, Chris's mom's name... Carol? Yeah, Carol. Oh my god, it is so... You look amazing. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you want to come with us? Yeah. Totally. No, she's vacuuming. Yeah, totally cock blocks Chris into getting uh, his mom to go. So they're seeing the notebook. Everyone is crying, but Chris, he's just like, this is fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah. And uh, Dusty's, he drives a Prius, and of course, he's being a little smug about having a Prius. 
and uh, his mom like invites them all in to like have cocoa or something and Dusty's like oh no I'm switching shifts with some guy so we can spend Christmas with his family and every time Dusty says something everyone just goes oh yeah. or oh my god that's so nice or yay yeah. it was so horrible but Jamie goes in and this is a really cute moment. They watch like old home movies of each other, doing cheers, yeah, practicing their cheerleading and doing fun stuff. It was just really cute because Chris started to break down both old Chris and fake new Chris and started to become real grown up Chris because they're driving uh, Jamie home in his mom's like station wagon. Yeah. And they're listening to, I think like Mortal Kombat, yep. the Mortal Kombat song because he finds that mixtape that he used to listen to. Mm -hmm. And they are both just like gut laughing. Yeah. And it is so cute because you get to see that moment. <laughs> and Samantha's still like trying to go to Paris. Mm -hmm. But uh, Chris is like, no. You know what you gotta do? You have to go perform out yeah. here. Like you need to again get in touch with your audience. Like any like trickster. He's like, all right, fine. If you don't want to do it, if you're not a real artist, we can go to go to Paris and just do your. I am a real artist. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I was born ready, bitch. Right. <laughs> I was born ready, bitch. Yeah, and he tells Mike to like take her to like a coffee coffee house that yeah. does like open mic night which is now turned into it turned into like a metal shop which is like a biker hardcore like bar rough and tumble bar and they are like booing her calling her Jessica Simpson she gets all pissed and like stage dives and starts to like punch the fucking biggest dude in the yeah. fucking place you funny now bitch yeah. you funny now bitch yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one thing I forgot to mention before the uh, Ryan Reynolds got dressed for the notebook he dressed in the Michael Bolton, the Michael Bolton starter kit. Starter kit. <laughs> yeah, that sweater with the crazy like Cosby patterns, the retainer. We get a shot of Ryan Reynolds' back. His fucking back has abs. Yeah. How the fuck is that even possible? Fucking How bitch. fucking dare you? <laughs> Yeah, Dusty is a... He's so pretentious. Yeah. Like, just the shit that he spews out. You can tell, like, it's almost like he turned into how what Chris turned into as an right. adult. Just, oh, I'm good looking now, so I'm just going to be an asshole because that's what he thinks is going to get him laid. And after that... Okay, so it's Christmas Day and Jamie's parents are having their like annual Christmas party. Their front yard is Christmas on steroids. They have like the best Christmas lights in town. The the dad is really like the dad's an asshole. Yeah. We'll just say that. Chris wants to give Jamie this list of why Jamie Palomino is the best. It's like a page and page and page thing that he wrote when he was in high school, and that's what he wants to give to her. He goes to Jamie's house, and who's performing? Fucking Dinkleman. Yeah. Dusty fucking Dinkleman. And everyone is just, the couples are like leaning on each other, like, oh my god, this is so amazing. He's showing off. And he then gives this like speech and calls Jamie special, and he plays the song. Jamie smiles. It takes me miles. <laughs> From where I used to go. Yeah, and he, he pulls out this, like, double-necked guitar. Yeah. Like, two guitars melted into two attached guitars. I don't know what they're called. I'm sorry, Dad, brother, don't hate me for not knowing what that is called. But, A double axe. Yeah, but actually, uh, before Chris goes to uh, Jamie's, Samantha's, like, pretending to sleep. Yeah. And she overhears where he's going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're going to Jamie's to go get laid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Chris tries to... Oh, wait, he, like, rides his bike over to Jamie's because his stupid brother left the windows down in the Porsche. And why, I have no fucking idea. It's, like, below zero there or some shit, and he's... <laughs> And he fucking rolls the windows down. I know. It was just like a, like a movie tactic yeah. to get him to, uh, to be more embarrassed because he has to ride his bike in the snow. So it's like really like beating him down to like the most insecure moment of his life. Yeah. You know, and that's just what makes him, I guess, like continue to like fuck up. Or mm -hmm. think that he's fucking up. But after, while Dusty's singing the song, Chris is just, he's defeated. He drops the Christmas card just somewhere random on like a table. He's sitting at, at the stairs. Clark is there and he's like, what's going on? 
on, man. It's like, I can't, I can't compete with Dusty, man. He's just so perfect. And what am I, like, what am I to do? Clark gives him this, like, pep talk. Like, man, you're Chris Branner. You live in L.A. You're, like, telling, to, like, just pumping him up. Yeah. It's Dinkleman. Dusty, Dusty Dinkleman. Dinkleman. Like, they say it, like, six times. Uh, so when Chris goes to talk to Jamie, everyone is outside caroling. And before, of course, tr- uh, Chris gets a word in, here comes this station wagon full. Oh, yeah. Yeah, full like Toretto. Just driving through the yard. Drives through the yard, hitting some of the decorations. Samantha pulls up like, what is going on? Who's this slut? She confronts Jamie and just like, you slut, you whore. Yeah. It's just. You fucking strumpet. You strumpet. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just stupid. And uh, Samantha says to Chris, I'm going to get you fired. He like punches her and then drives off. And the lights get tangled and it completely sets ablaze the entire front yard. Yeah. Christmas decoration. So it's like, there we go. Chris, there's another thing for Chris to have fucked up. Mm-hmm. He's in his room just on his bed. Like, if you're, like, when you're a kid when you lay on your bed, you're just so like, I want to talk to anybody. Go away. Right. Because <laughs> someone's knocking on his door and he thinks it's his mom. Mm-hmm. It's Jamie. Like, well, that was quite a spectacle. He's like, I'm so sorry. I will pay for everything. She's like, I am not here to collect. They hang out yeah. again and they, like, go through, like, pictures and, yeah, pretty much that. Just going through pictures they were going through pictures. They were reminiscing. Reminiscing. And then she invites herself to spend the night. Yeah, because apparently that's what used to happen when they were growing up together. Yeah, they friends. would have sleepovers. Friend, friend sleepovers. And it would had to have been. It had to have been at his house because I can't see any. Or the dad was so not threatened by Chris that he pretty much probably thought of him as a girl. Yeah. So he let it happen. Oh, but dude, there, there are people like that. That's fucking weird. Yeah, there are people like that. Um, yeah, that kid's not going to go anywhere with her. Yeah. yeah. He could come over. Yeah, yeah. That kid across the street, though, he's not allowed in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But uh, this is the moment. You can even see it in Jamie's eyes. Like, she wants to hook up, too. Yeah. She, like, dresses down. She's wearing, like, her probably, like... Like a bikini bottom uh, underwear and this like oversized like one of Chris's button downs mm-hmm. like that he wears like un- like with his suit very cute very like very Marilyn Monroe and she even like in the doorway she does like a little pose too yeah. and he's just like oh my god yeah like holy hell this is hot and she's like all excited jumps in and then shit just starts to get a little awkward she kind of puts. Do you think that what she did were considered moves? No. Like, from a guy's uh, perspective? In the 90s, maybe. But I wouldn't say in a guy's perspective. Like, uh, if a girl is like, you know, put your feet on mine and rub my feet. It's like, okay. But I guess at that point it is, you just make the move. I I think she could have done more. You know what I would have done? What? I would have done the boot scooch. Like, if um, you're both turned around and there's a moment where... The girl can be the little spoon and the guy do the the big spoon. Mm -hmm. Scooch the booty like back a little bit. Yeah. And kind of get your butt and the guy's like crotch region Mm -hmm. to touch and just do a little like a little little scoot do do a little scoot and a little nudge. That's a good move. You're welcome. (laughs) Great move. Yeah. To ever let the guy know, do yeah. the boot scoot. Yeah, that, that's a good little, I'm not trying to throw myself at you, but if if you're into doing something, I'm in. It doesn't have to be full-blown sex. Like, even if it's just like a make-out session, like, who fucking cares? Like, right. that, that's a cute little move, I, I, will, I will say. But Chris goes through this inner monologue, like, come on, you freaking idiot. What are you doing? She's right there. She's, she's wanting it. She's wanting it. You're not going to make a move, are you? You don't deserve it penis yeah and she's clearly disappointed nothing happens in the next scene jamie's with darla chris is with clark doing the romantic comedy thing that i've talked about before where the two main people talk to the secondary characters like oh my god oh my, how did this happen like jamie's like i'm i, th- I completely throw myself at him and darla's like did you really try to make a move she's like oh, no not really yeah and he's pissed off because he, he he was right there. He had his moment. He didn't take it. And like you said earlier, he say so he he can't just he couldn't just sleep with her because like what happens then? What happens like after that? Does she move out to LA? Do I move back to Jersey? And Clark's like, I thought you just wanted to boink her. 
Right. I was like, no, we can't. We have this whole history. We've been friends forever. I can't just do her. You can't just boink Jamie. You can't just boink Jamie Palomino. And he's... He's just like, you know what? I can't do this. I, I need to, I have this amazing life in LA. He books like the earliest flight. Him and uh, Clark leave and we see Dusty Dinkelman mm-hmm. singing when Janice smiles. Yeah. Takes me miles. And he is like groping this, this nurse needs to be fired. It is not Halloween. She's wearing the skimpiest nurse outfit. Mm-hmm. Super short with these thigh high stockings clearly connected to like a garter of some sort and just he sees uh chris and clark and they're just like he's just like yeah watch this he, like makes out with the chick and he's like hey uh hey hey baby i gotta talk with my friends here but uh you just go scurry along he like kind of like pushes her away and then like spanks her on the ass yeah he's just like oh here he is here's here's dusty lee yeah and hey he, gentlemen. Yeah, hey gentlemen, what's going on? What's with you and the uh what's with you and the nurse? Yeah. Just another bee in the hive, my friend. Just another bee. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking love that. I know. Just another oh bee my in God. the hive, my friend. He just turns just into just another bee. This, <laughs> just He's he's this a man whore. Player, yeah. He's a he's a he's a jersey player. He's a jersey player. Yeah. And Chris wants to tell Jamie about it. He's like, no, this isn't gonna fly, but he's like, you know what? Whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm going back to LA, and poor Clark. He tried like they're in the car together because uh, he's driving Chris to the airport. And he's like talking about his kid, talking about his life. Yeah. And Chris is just not paying attention, and he like grabs a hold of the steering wheel, and he like makes it do a U-turn, and you hear Clark go, "Mariah Carey." Right. <laughs> Mariah Carey. Yeah, and he's like, oh "My God, you LA people are so dramatic. You could have just asked me to turn around." Right. And uh, Chris goes to find Jamie, and he is with Dusty at, like, a church. They're doing this concert for kids and family. It's just so cheesy, so corny. And you even see, like, Dusty playing, like, the the piano. Yeah. Like, oh, my God, look at me. I'm so perfect. And yep. Puts his guitar back on. Like, let's just, let's give a hand to Miss Jamie Palomino for putting together this amazing concert. With Jamie smiles. It takes me a while. Yeah. Chris finds Jamie and pulls her into like where they um like confession like the confessional is like Dusty's a Jersey player he just he wants to get the revenge bang yeah because Dusty even says like hey man this is great the two biggest nerds you know competing to pretty much fuck the cutest girl in school can't write that shit my friend yeah like that was even like yeah he uh told Chris's plan I'm like yeah I'm just doing this just so I can fuck her Mm-hmm. And then that's it. And she doesn't believe him. Dusty comes in. He's like, hey, would you, would you guys like to join us to sing a, uh, a song about the birth of our Lord? Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds loses his shit he and just tackles him. He just tackles him in front of all the kids. And they're just like going going fucking crazy. And the, the kids, uh, after it gets broken up, the kids are like, is that your boyfriend? And James like, no, he's not. We like Dusty better. I Dusty, love- Dusty. <laughs> I love that Dinkelman just pulls up. Why would you do this in front of children? This is a concert for children. <laughs> he pulls in, and yeah. then everybody looks over at Ryan Reynolds, and he does like the tongue rocker thing. The he's tongue like, rocker. Yeah, he's like <laughs> with the Mick Jagger, not yeah. Mick Jagger, no, the, the kiss thing. Yeah, he's just like G- yeah, the Gene Simmons thing. Yeah, oh, so gross. And Ryan Reynolds is like, he's framing me. He t- he totally did get framed. Yeah, he was totally totally framed. And Clark drops. Chris off somewhere, probably the ha- probably the house, and Chris doesn't say anything. Clark's like, "All oh, right, great, yep, yeah, thanks for everything. See you in another ten years." Poor guy, man. It's just like, oh, I don't know, I just thought yeah. that was funny. But uh, we see uh, Chris is sitting at a bus stop with Tim, yeah, drinking. drinking. Yeah. Like they each have their own bottles. He's just, they're just like that moment of like, ugh, women, man, fuck. Blah, 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 whatever. Uh, Chris tries to get into a bus. He's too drunk, and he tries to get the bus driver to, like, pull his finger. He gets literally thrown, thrown out. out right in front of the maple. And he's like, you got to be kidding me. Mm-hmm. He goes into the maple, sees Jamie and Dusty, like, hanging shit or unhanging stuff because Christmas is over, yeah. I think. And he tries to talk to Jamie again, and, he, and she's just like, Chris, what do you want? And Dusty is... He's the devil. 
Yeah. Chris even says to him, like, he's the devil. Like, you're, you're the fucking devil. Because Dusty's like, oh, man, just, you know, go home, sleep it off. You'll be right as rain in the morning. And Chris is just like, oh, so you're just choosing Dusty over me? And she's like, don't worry about me and Dusty and me are fine. We're just friends. And then under his breath, Dusty says, yeah, but not too much longer, hopefully. Yeah. Jamie hears it and is like, what? And Dusty's like, I've been meaning to talk to you. I think we should take our relationship to another level. And she's like, no, I'm sorry. I don't think of you that way and then dusty shifts to dusty lee Mm -hmm. he says really like i write a song for you it would be so wrong of you to not put out for me because i took time to write this song yeah because uh well chris did tell jamie about the whole song thing about singing to to janice but yeah dusty gives himself up and he just fully turns into like douchebag mode. He's like, I'm mobile, dude. And he like slaps some chick's ass and he just does this weird, like, what kind of dance would you call this? Like, oh yeah, I'm out of here. Just Chris sums, out. Yeah, just, just douchebaggery. Just douche, douchebaggery. Mm-hmm. That's a good word. And Chris thinks, oh, because that happened, now he's in. Jamie's like, no, sorry. Like, this is not gonna, this is not gonna work. And uh, Chris does confront Jamie about being the biggest tease ever. Yeah. Because she says, like, I practically throw myself at you and then you don't do anything. He's like, well, now you know how it feels. Right. And he gives her that horrible insult, uh, calling her the girl who peaked in high school. Uh, She punches him and that's it. He thinks it's over. He goes back to LA, just totally exhausted, just defeated. He sees a guitar in his house. It's fucking Samantha. She's uh, in this like cute little like pajama silk thingy. Yeah. She's trying to bake cookies because she's trying to be all domesticated that like that little slut you cheated me on with. But it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. Everything's gonna be fine, lover. Yeah. It's all good, good, good. Hugs and kisses. Hugs and kisses. <laughs> I really want to sing you the revised version. You made me uh, of uh, forgiveness. You really made me go into my uh, hate and angst. Yeah. She sings it. It's the exact, it's the exact same. same. And he, is, he, looks, he has this moment where he just looks around at his house and he's like, what am I doing here? What is, what is all this that I have worth the life that I am living right now, which is meaningless? Yeah. And he tries to tell Samantha, no, I am not into you. This is not going to work. I am in love with one woman and it's not you. She goes nuts, tasers him in the balls. It was kind of anticlimactic because mm-hmm. he, he frees himself. And then the next shot, he is on a plane to Jersey. Yeah. He's back in Jersey. He goes right, right to Jamie and she's just like, Chris, what do you want? And he finally has his moment of, I, I want to take you on a real date. And I want to tell you how beautiful you are. And I want to have babies with you. And I want to marry you. And I love you. I've loved you since the sixth grade. And I want to be with you. So uh, they go in for the kiss. The kiss is really aggressive. Yeah. And hard. And she's like, oh my God, whoa. He's like, I'm sorry. Just uh, 20 years all at once. 20 years just came at me all at once. (laughs) And then the kiss was nice. Yeah. Uh, And then, yeah, movie ends. We get the credit scene and we get another... I swear! Yeah, another I swear. Ryan Reynolds is lip syncing the house down with his fat, with, his, with fat, his suit. fat suit. Fat suit, and it his is retainer so funny. and everything. Yeah. Man. It's definitely worth it to watch it because it was really, really funny. Okay, so that was Just Friends. Mm, yeah. Now let's move on to the handy dandy Shakespearean insult notebook. Yes, so the words were covetous. Loggerheaded bull's pizzle. Now, which character would best describe these insults? Oh, Dusty Tinkleman for sure. Oh yeah, that was what I Dusty I picked for sure. Tinkleman is a bull pizzle. He's a bull's pizzle. He's a bull's penis. He's greedy, as well as stupidly blockheaded. Yes, <laughs> stupidly blockheaded. Yeah, He's let a us bitch. let us know what you guys if you guys agree with what we. Of who we picked, and yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can keep this uh, little segment going for next time. I like it. Yeah. Let's do it. It's fun. All right. Next week is my pick. We're yes. starting off the new year. I am going to go a little... No. I'm just going to do... Uh, what we're going to do is, is we're going to do a James Bond film. I knew it. Yeah. And we're going to do a nice... Woman-based James Bond film. So we're going to do Octopussy. But what do you mean by woman-based? Like there's a lot of women in it. 
I figured because when you when usually when you, when woman base is brought up, it's like not what James Bond is. So I just wanted to make sure because James Bond is. No, it's very, very much still very, James Bond, very but think sexist. like think like think like Amazon ish. Oh, this is like very Amazon ish in a way. Okay, in a sense with well, the circus. With the circ. Oh, okay. Well, um, with just friends, would you watch this without me? Oh, uh, you know what? I I don't know if I would watch this on my own i did like it Mm. i don't know if i would necessarily like watch it on my own if it was on i'd probably watch it Mm -hmm. but in reality i think i would have to watch it with you okay if you were watching it i'd join you yeah well i only really watch this during christmas time anyway so it can be like our one of our christmas movies yes christmas flick all right, everybody. So we want to thank everyone for uh, joining us today. Mm-hmm. Um, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, leave us a review on Apple Podcast. You can find us on all podcasting platforms. Yes, and you can also follow us on all social media platforms. On Instagram, we are movies.contemplation underscore pod. On the Twitter, we are movies underscore pod. You can also email us, movies.contemplation at gmail.com. And we're on Facebook, Movies and Contemplation. Yeah. Yeah. Reach out, guys. Reach us, reach on out with us. And we hope everyone had a very amazing holidays. Yes. Merry Christmas to Kissy all who Christmas. celebrate that. Kissy Christmas, Roo Roo. All right, everyone. <laughs> Ooh, bless you. Take care. <laughs> have fun. Bye, gang. Bye.